Well, as we wait to hear who will be awarded licenses to grow medical marijuana in the state of Ohio, we're learning those growers are going to be facing a risky predicament. How do they get that first seed to grow their crop without breaking the law? Right now, WCPO.com reporter Lisa Bernard Kuhn joins us, and you tackled this whole issue online. Something we probably didn't think about. You, how do they get that first seed into the state? So this is a very curious legal conundrum that pops up in all states that are legalizing medical marijuana or recreational marijuana in some form. You laid it out exactly. You mm -hmm. know, these cultivators and growers have essentially two choices. They have to go into another state um, to get their product which it's illegal to mm -hmm. bring that product, federally illegal to bring it back across the state right. line, or they have to strike a deal with somebody in the illicit market who's already here. And when you think about the choice that these cultivators face, they have hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line and they're working to legitimize this business. And so they really want to make sure that they're safeguarding that investment but their first move is to break the law to legalize marijuana. And either way you look at it, you have to break the law. So That's right. what do regulators do then? So essentially we're told, you know, this is a gray area. Regulators turn their head. It's a don't ask, don't tell situation. Mm -hmm. um, they say one day we're going to come in before the medical marijuana program is up and running. And if you have plants, we're just going to make sure that they meet our guidelines. We're going to make sure your business is running, uh, you know, as our guidelines mm -hmm. state and um, you're off. So and you what, you wrote it uh, in your article that they call it with the immaculate propagation, basically. That's right. The first <laughs> seed problem, the immaculate <laughs> propagation. Um, again, it's a situation where regulators say um, we're not going to hold you accountable mm -hmm. for this. But again, there there is sort of that gray area of risk. We know that there are examples in other states where um, some of these cultivators, some of these startups have mm -hmm. gotten in trouble for moving product across state line. So these cultivators are watching this very closely. None of them want to talk to us on the record about this. Imagine that, yes. Um, but, you know, it is, it's one of those sticky situations. And what's the timeline we're looking at for them to have to make this decision? So, you know, by September 2018, Ohio's medical marijuana program has to be up and running. Ohio's naming cultivators as we speak, mm -hmm. you know, here in the next coming weeks. Um, we already know who the first 11 are. So they're making this decision right now about how to get their product back into the state. It'll be interesting to see how this works out. And uh, of course, you can read much more about it, including the whole process of medical marijuana from this point, uh, not only the past, but also this point forward. Right now, in Lisa's articles on WCPO.com. Thank you for coming in. Thank you.